Welcome to Seeing Dead People, the mystery storytelling podcast with a clairvoyant twist. We end every episode with Darcy answering a question from a listener about her psychic process. Whatever is going on in her head, I think it's so cool and astonishing. Trust me, you're going to have your own questions. I want to take you, though, uh, Darcy, to this idea of helping her cross over. If you were to undertake that and you were to go to the golf course, um, would you be going at this time, roughly time when she passed away? So in the dark, would you be standing there quietly waiting for something to give you a trigger or would you just start talking to the darkness or the daylight, depending when you've gone? Well, I actually don't actually wait till the time they pass. Okay. And I have had a few people I've helped pass over. Ooh. What I do is I'll find a space, like I would like to be in the area that I believe they are. Yeah. And if I can, I'm there. If I'm not, then I visualize in my head a burning candle. Okay. And I see the flame and I see it getting bigger and bigger. And I start talking to the person uh, by name. And I'll talk to them. I'll explain that they've died um, and that it was, uh, and I'll, I'll tell them if it was a violent death. I don't believe lying to them is going to make them any better. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell them what I'm feeling about the anguish for themselves as well as for maybe the way the person was feeling. Like he, he, he didn't really want to do it, but he felt compelled. He was at his wit's end. And I would say all this to her, and then I would say that there's people who love her waiting for her on the other side. And that if I have a candle burning, sometimes I'll visually like light a candle so they can see it, but a lot of times if I can project my image in my head, they can see it, and I tell them, just follow the light. You're going to see the, the sky open, and you'll see a, a heavenly light, and I'm not joking you actually do see that heavenly light. Oh, neat. You can go towards it and you'll start seeing the little globes all around it and people coming towards you to take your hand and help you cross. And it doesn't mean she stays there forever. She can come back and visit any time she wants. It's just that anguish that I feel, that emptiness, the, the hollowness that I'm feeling gets filled. Well, when you're, are you actually speaking out loud when you're doing this, Darcy, or are you doing this in your head? It all depends. If I'm by myself, I tend to speak out loud. <laughs> Good. Uh, okay, because if there's a group of people around me, unless they expect me to do it, okay, then I tend to do it in my head. Unless they expect me to talk out loud, and if people have hired me to... Literally, I'm performing um, a funeral. Okay. And I invite them, as well as the person who has died, to look to the light, to feel the love that draws them towards it, and allow them to pass. <sighs> We'd love to hear from you with questions for Darcy about her psychic process or suggestions for other mystifying situations you would like us to investigate. So please shoot us an email to info at radiosydney.ca with seeing dead people in the subject line. This has been a program of Radio Sydney.